All right, so to get started here, uh, we're just going to create a couple files. I'll create an a.js file here and then a, a b.js file just to illustrate what I'm doing. Now in b, uh, let's create a function. Let's say it adds two numbers together. It takes two parameters, uh, and we're just going to add uh, the first two together and return that. Uh, and then I need to uh, module export this here. Uh, we're in a Node.js environment. We'll say we're uh, the ES5 format, so we'll put it here with a object notation. Uh, now go back to over to a.js, I'll, I'll require that file, uh, b.js here. And then uh, if I start typing, you'll see uh, I already get a, a little IntelliSense there. It knows that I have an add to function and that it takes two parameters. Now it, it doesn't know anything more than that. Uh, it still says uh, either take the any type, so it doesn't know that I need numbers here. But it will add the two and it, it gave me a little bit of help there. So already that's pretty cool. But there's this little light bulb down there. Uh, and it notices that this is a JavaScript file, and it says, uh, would you like to create a jsconfig.json file? And we would. Uh, and I'll just update it to ES5 real quick here. And right off the bat, that doesn't give us too much more than where we were at before. So if I type b.add uh, to again, uh, you see I get the same thing. It, it knows it takes two parameters. Uh, but it already kind of figured that out from the fact that they're both sitting there in the root directory, and, and that's enough. So what you can do is you can add some JS doc format here, uh, and I'll just add a multi-line comment and then uh, use the special app param uh, to add in the types, uh, add in the param name. I'll just say this is the first number. Uh, we have another parameter here. It's also a number. Uh, that is the second one. So we'll say this is uh, the second number. Uh, and then you do this at returns uh, and it returns a number also. Uh, and uh, just give it a little dash here. So we'll say, you know, this returns the sum of uh, let's say uh, the first two numbers, or the first and second number, maybe. Uh, so now, if I go back over uh, and I type b dot, uh, it didn't actually do anything immediately. Uh, but what I can do here is, uh, you know, sometimes that should work and sometimes it won't. But what I can do is uh, I can try reloading here, see if that works. Uh, so I'm just going to reload the project. Uh, now, when it comes up here, I'll try uh, typing b again, trying to get the IntelliSense. I, it's not quite coming up, but let me try that again. Uh, and there we go. So now uh, it recognized the other, uh, the other function. It knows that the first two parameters are numbers, and it returns a number. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but the next thing is, uh, how does this affect external modules? So let's say we want to use Lodash in our project. Um, in order to do that, uh, I'd first need to make this an actual node project. So I'll hop over to my terminal window over here, uh, and I'll just do an npm init-y. Uh, that just says yes to all the npm questions. Uh, and now I can install Lodash normally. So I can do npm install Lodash, uh, and I'll do the dash dash save uh, in order to save it to my package.json. So I'll let that install here. And I'll hop back over to my uh, Visual Studio. I'll require that. So var underscore equals require, right, require Lodash. Now if I go down and, and type that underscore and do a dot where I should get my uh, IntelliSense, so I'll just uh, underscore dot, uh, and I get nothing. So uh, right off the bat, it's not helping me. But what I need is I need a typing file. So even though we have no intention of using uh, TypeScript here, uh, you still do this typings install lodash, and I'll, I'll save that. And what it will do is it'll write out a typings folder uh, in my project. I'll just expand this here so that you can see. Uh, puts everything in this modules folder. Um, and then I'll just open one up here just so that you can see. Uh, lodash is actually uh, one of the better ones at maintaining their typings file. Uh, but I'll scroll down so that you can see basically it's a lot of interfaces that it's defining. So now if I hop back over to my file here uh, and I type that same, uh, same underscore as before and I type a dot, I get all the Lodash functions. Uh, and it knows the types uh, of all the parameters, it knows what all the return types are, uh, and immediately uh, I'm more productive than I was uh, before I had uh, this typings in JSON config file installed.